When it comes to closing the digital divide in North America, there's a perfect storm brewing. Demand is increasing. The pandemic has helped us with that. Private capital is infused for investments in upgrading the networks for 5G and, and, and fiber. And we also see uh, stimulus money, the infrastructure bill, the regional digital opportunity fund, the 5G fund is adding to the capabilities we have. So now the question is, how are we going to do it? And we've been looking at this problem and seeing that we, closing the digital divide is something that we can do in America, uh, that we can do this decade. Uh, we think it's important to close it this decade because the, uh, there's so important uh, values that we see that we can unlock. If we look at the demand side, it is hybrid work is here to stay. Uh, we want to be able to work from, from everywhere. Uh, remote education is important. We've seen that it's not enough to connect in schools. We need to connect the students wherever they are and wherever they uh, can study. Uh, remote healthcare, we've seen the pandemic here, it's like made us both on the, on the caregiver side and on the receiving end are more comfortable with uh, interacting through a digital channel. And the last but not least, we should not forget the businesses when looking at the problem. Businesses are more and more dependent. And if we look at the small businesses, uh, fairly few of small business buildings are connected today. And we also have the very interesting dynamics with large number of businesses not making it, but also record numbers of new businesses being started right now. When we talk about the digital divide, don't only see it as one thing, a fixed divide. We have a divide that's both fixed and mobile. And if we peel the onion on these divides, we see that the fixed divide is 5 to 12 percent larger, depending on if we look at urban, suburban or rural challenges. Uh, both of the divides are important. We most likely have a big amount in the climb if we just should close the fixed. So looking at them together, fixed and mobile, and saying, hey, both of these are important to close. Some will have both technologies, most of us perhaps, but some will perhaps only have the, mo the mobile, and we need to bring that into the picture. If we look at the fiber starting point, we're actually trying to get a feeling for how far will fiber take us, uh, we see that three different scenarios. We see that large commercial buildings, 69.2% penetrated today and growing at almost 5% per year. So there we have good confidence that all those buildings will, large commercial buildings will be closed by the end of the decade. Smaller commercial buildings, and that's with less than 20 workers in each building, uh, more challenged. 14% penetrated today, growing at around 2% per year. Uh, very similar numbers to what we look at residential households, 16.4% having uh, fiber today uh, at a home and growing at the percent and a half. So if you look at those two last segment, if they grow at the current pace, even if we double the pace, they would just about reach half of the population. So there's something here that we need to look at beyond the half that gets fibered this decade and the solutions are available to them. And when we look at that, we see that there's two key solutions that are uh, adding to the picture beyond what we have today. It's fixed wireless access, uh, with 5G and its satellite. Fixed wireless access well proven for 4G. With 5G right now, we're closing the gap uh, between wired and, and fixed wireless solution in a way we've never seen, seen before. And uh, it's an interesting solution, uh, especially so that we can build one infrastructure and serve both purposes, fixed and mobile. But they are part of the society where fixed wireless and mobile networks won't necessarily reach. And those are the areas where we need satellite services. So we know that the last two percent is hard and the last percent very, very hard, if not impossible to reach with any fixed infrastructure. So satellite is going to come into the market from that end, taking the last percent and then perhaps pushing in a little bit more. Fiber is going to push upwards 40, perhaps 50 percent th this decade in terms of penetration. In between is what we, the role we see for 5G playing one infrastructure, both for fixed and mobile services.